Good morning, you guys. It's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're at the Gibson County Fairgrounds for the Collector's Carnival show, the August edition. We did have some pouring rain this morning when I first got here. So I've actually already went through this entire building. So I will insert that footage here um, because I've already went through it and filmed it while it was finished raining. I love the fabrics in this quilt. We've got 245 on it. I like this one too with the little squares. Look how cute this fabric is right here. Very nice. I love quilts. Look at the whole Howard little cheese container. 85. These chunkware squirrels. I love those. Like these little lammies. Alright, we're back at my favorite jewelry ladies booth. Um, and since it's pouring rain outside, I've got a lot of time to look through the brooches today and pick out some things. Let's see a celluloid chicken. This appears to be all the birdies. Picked out some birdies last time. So I guess I'm going to go through the trays and then I'll show you what I pick out. She's got some beautiful cameos in here. These. The amazing the Bakelite. Well, I picked out two birdies. I love the one on the music note. It's so cute. Morphic watermelon ladybug pull toy. It's a wacky melon. How cool is that? Great advertising. Look at this. Four beautiful cloth dolls ready for stuffing. Seven day coffee. This gorgeous deer tin. That's really, really pretty. Here. All the big rusty, crusty, and dusty stuff. The automotive storage thing is neat. We've got 200 on that. These lights in the box. All right, here are the outside vendors, and since it did rain this morning, um, I'm going to give them lots of time to try and uncover and uh, get finished set up this morning. So I have all of the buildings on this side um, to go through yet. So let's get over there. <laughs> Look at these amazing Denison Halloween seals in the box. Wow. Very cool. Amazing tin litho Halloween pieces. Look at this tambourine. The noisemakers. Awesome pieces here. Love to see the paper mache little nut cup. The Rosbro candy containers. Awesome stuff. Look at these napkins. The Noma lights. Graphics on the box. Let's see some mercury beads here. I definitely will get those. Alright, who remembers orbits? I do. How cool is that? It's got a cameo cutie in his original little jammies for three dollars. He needs some cleaning, but he'll be he'll clean up really really nicely. Cute is this cookie jar. The owls. A lot of fun mid-century stuff here. This old sleigh. How cool would that be? Like in a front yard. For Christmas time, you could string some lights on there. I got a thousand dollars on it. Yeah. 
All these spice sets, 20 bucks on that, that's a pretty good deal. Oh, look at the turkeys. Cute. I cannot quite believe this deal here. Uh, $10 on that swung vase. That's pretty amazing. Now I'm headed over to go to those two buildings. Fiesta pumpkin shakers. There are a lot of people in here, so I, I was not able to film in this particular booth. But look at the dare in the original packaging. So, so cute. Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I did just get this really cute Red Riding Hood, little Red Riding Hood book. Great illustrations in this one. Very cute. So quick update here, we got a Harold Gale, Santa, and a Kamar Santa, he's kind of creepy, for $8. This is Beth's booze, and I already bought some shakers from her, um, oh she got a fairy lamp up here, and I thought I'd come back and film her booth because I wasn't able to the first time, there were a lot of people in here. Alicante in there. That's cool. A little glass turtle. Really pretty pottery pieces. I like that orange glaze. This giant fish glass. How cool is that? It looks super heavy. That's awesome. I've never seen one that big. Look at Buffy with Mrs. Beasley. The gingerbread gold mold. He's cool. I don't know how much he is. I don't see his price tag, but Frosty here is a hundred. It's cute. My last purchase of the day is this really amazing shape. Uh, this is a George Horner made in England candy tin with the little pup on there. All right, you guys. I'm all done here at the Gibson County Fairgrounds. So much good stuff here today, and the bargains. Oh my gosh, the prices for things today were just amazing. So it was a great show to go through today. I got here at 7 a.m. It is now almost 11.30, so that's how long it took me to get through the show this time. And I definitely will be coming back here for the last show of the year, which is in October. Um, I can't wait to see all the holiday goodies that people bring to the show. So yes, I'm looking forward to that. So I will tack a little haul to the end of the video to show you everything that I picked up here today. Uh, great, great stuff. I'm super, super happy. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me. Uh, let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite thing that I either filmed today at the show or that I picked up? Let me know down in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I do appreciate all the comments left on my videos. I so much enjoy reading what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for coming along. We'll see you in the next one. All right, welcome back, you guys. Here is everything that I picked up at the Collector's Carnival show this time. So much fun stuff. Very happy with my finds this time. And lots of goodies, so let's get into it. So I'm going to start over here. I think possibly these are my favorite things from the show. Possibly my favorite find in a very long time. Um, I love stuff in the original packaging. It's so cool to find that somebody kept it this way. Um, I love deer. I love Christmas, original packaging. It's got it all going on. And even its original price sticker at 97 cents. Such a good find on that. Really cute box graphics on here. Um, I am not keeping this. I would be too tempted to take them out and uh, do something crafty with them, but they need to they need to stay in their original packaging. 
So I'm going to be passing this on. Look for this likely in November um, area for sale. It's just too cool. They've lived in here since the 70s, so they need to stay. They need to stay in their original packaging, but so, so cool. And another fun deer find is this really cool embossed tin with the deer and the fall leaves. Great graphics on here. Um, I actually picked this up from the same vendor guy that I bought something from the last time. So he just has really cool stuff. Um, this is very fall. It gives me very fall kind of colors and vibes with this. So um, I love the graphics on it. I'm not sure of the age, although I do suspect it's probably um, 60s maybe um, for age on that. I just really like the colors in that for sure. And then, whoa, this might be the best deal I got for sure. Um, I did measure this. I think it was, I think it was close to like 17 inches tall. This is Ellie Smith in the diamond butt, um, swung base. It does have a captured bubble here at the top. Really nice, large opening for that swung base. I cannot believe the price on that. That was just insane. I never see, I never see that size vase for like usually, um, under a couple hundred dollars. So $10 was just crazy. And Santa, we love Santas. We love finding Santas. And, um, this was a good deal as well. So we've got a larger size, Harold Gale, um, Santa, pretty good shape. On the paper mache, he does have a little wild mustache going on. I'll try and get that a little tamed uh, back in that side. But he's pretty good shape. Um, very soft on the velvet. And then also from the same person, this Kamar. It is Kamar. does have the tag uh, from 1970. He's a little creepy. Um, he's been going up and down the chimney. So, you know, he, he's got a little soot on his face little on the creepy side, but that's okay. I think he's really cool. I have never come across him in the wild before. Um, I think he's cool for sure. And then a little cute friend also from the same person as the Santas. Um, this is a, a cameo cupie. It is marked here on the back in the original pajamas. Now he would have had, um, a long little stocking cap, originally that would come with this particular outfit but that was missing um and he was I couldn't leave him I mean how can you leave that face you just can't um so I'm gonna probably clean up his pjs um a little bit give him a little wash they'll probably brighten up a little bit um and I should be able to get most of the surface kind of dirt and thing um off of the QP. so he'll clean up pretty good I think and then this little Red Riding Hood book, really cute graphics in this one. I love these oversized books. I love the illustrations in these. So good. So that was always a fun find to find. Nice old children's books. And it is a Whitman Publishing. I'm not sure I've had that one before. Um, this one lady's booth. She had so many cute children's hankies. Uh, I had a hard time choosing which ones to get, but I decided on these two because they were both kitties and I loved the bright colors. They were in really good shape. So that's why I picked up um, Blue Mama Kitty, uh, Pushing the Little Baby Kitty, and the Little Orange Kitty in her flower hat. So darling. And then we've got some pink mercury glass bead garland with its original paper label on there. Love to find mercury glass beads, especially some of the non-traditional colors. I like to look for the turquoise, the blues, the pinks, um, and some of the silver ones. I really like the non-traditional colors in those. They're a little bit harder to come by than the, the gold, green, or red ones. Um, and then this cute little, this cute little ceramic, hi guys, a uh, little clip on froggy friend. Um, I've seen clip on Christmas ornaments 
and I've seen clip on birds, but I had not ever seen a clip on frog before. I have to do a little bit more research on him. Not really sure of the maker for them, um, but he's really cute. And then um, we have Swifty the turtle made by Anesco salt and pepper shakers. I love to find those. Um, the blue label Anesco pieces are um, older pieces that Anesco made. Uh, Swifty turtle are some of the first kind of anthropomorphic kitchen line that Anesco put out in the 50s. And then we have some cutie pie little magnetic poodle shakers. So they have a little magnet here on either side to keep them together so you don't lose your shaker mate. And these awesome chalkware wall squirrel faces. I have never seen these before. So these are um, Miller Studios from 1959. I had never seen these before and I just love them. I think they would be great for fall. Um, definitely if you're a kitsch lover, they're awesome. I think they're awesome. So the wall squirrels and both sets of salt and pepper shakers I got from the lovely Beth Kemper's booth. Uh, so nice to meet you in person, Beth. She had a lot of fun things in her booth and she's going to be there in October. So I'll come visit you again, Beth. Um, thank you so much for chatting with me. It was very fun to meet you in person. And then George Horner, you guys know, I love the vintage George Horner candy tin, especially the graphics. This one I've never had before. Um, they did do a whole series in the same kind of shape and style with different animals. Um, I've never come across this one, but my gosh, look at the condition of this. It's amazing shape on the front and it's in great, great shape. And it is uh, made in England, George Horner. And the fun thing about these is that they're flat on the bottom. So they will stand up for you if you wanna pop them into a display. Very cool. And then the last thing I got was from the jewelry ladies booth. And um, these two birdie pins kind of spoke to me this time. I'm not sure. Uh, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. Some things kind of stood out to me the last time I looked at her booth, but I really like um, the little pearl belly that's going on on this one. And it is stamped on the back side here, H-A-R. Very cute. And then this one here looks to be a bit older. And uh, the little birdie on the music note. I do have to clean these a little bit, but I really liked, I really liked the style of that one on the back side. That one doesn't have any markings as far as I know. All right, so that's everything that we picked up at the Collector's Carnival. Always a good time. People always bring out really cool stuff for the show, and I can't wait to go to the last one. I'm very much looking forward to it. So thank you guys so much for following along with me at the show and sticking around for the haul. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that I filmed at the show or that I picked up at the show. Let me know down in the comments. Please give the video a thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And I always put out new videos here on my channel, new shop with me videos. So turn on that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I also uh, participate in live sales over on Mother Tucker's Antiques YouTube channel um, every Wednesday for fantastic finds at 8 p.m. Eastern. So come join us over there for some fun live sales. And you just never know, I might do a pop-up live sale here on my channel. Always check the community tab here on my channel for upcoming events and item previews. You can also give me a follow over on Instagram. I certainly would appreciate it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.